Hey, what's up everybody? It's Cal's Calzones here again. Uh, I'm sorry it has been a minute. I work at Best Buy and it was Christmas, so you can imagine the kind of retail hell that I've been through for a little bit. And I would have gotten a video to you after that, except for the fact that I got hit with a pretty nasty case of COVID. Now, don't fear, I still have my taste of, uh, my, my sense of taste, my sense of smell and everything. And uh, I'm here at Tim Hortons today. How may I help you? Hi, um, can I just get a small hot chocolate, please? Would you like whipped cream? Uh, no thanks. Anything else? That'll be it. 223, thank you. Thanks so much. You're welcome. I'm gonna tell you how the hot cocoa holds up. Got a small one for two dollars and change, and I can tell you just by the smell, this smells like a really rich hot cocoa. I'm very excited about it. So, um, let's give it a taste. Ooh. Still burning hot. I, uh, I gave it a, a minute or two to uh, cool down while I was sitting in the car here, but still pretty hot. Delicious though. It, the chocolate is a lot richer than the uh, the McDonald's hot cocoa that I had in the last video, um, and uh, it, it tastes like they used milk instead of water in this hot cocoa, which I know we all appreciate. Um, they offered me some whipped cream. I decided against it because just like the sandwich saga, I'm going to go for, you know, just like the purest experience. I didn't want any extra cream getting in there and sullying my experience today. Not that I'm against that, but for you guys. So yeah, if you've got a Tim Hortons in your area, definitely give this a try. Hi, can we take your order? Yes, uh, can I just get a small hot chocolate, please? Small hot chocolate? Yes. That would be it, sir? That'll be it. Okay, sir. You could, you could drive around. Thanks so much. Okay. All right, gang. For my other drink today, I decided to stop at Dunkin', give their hot cocoa a try. Um, I just got it, did not let it cool down yet, so. But it does have a, uh, this is going to be a weird thing to say, it has a, a distinctly Dunkin' scent to it. Um, I don't quite know what that means myself, but <laughs> let's give it a try. Once again, nice and hot. Um, I will say this is the, um, the sweetest hot chocolate of the bunch so far. Um, this is just for me personally. Uh, it has a really nostalgic flavor for me. Um, and that's because when, um, when my, my mom and I used to drop my sister at dance class every week and uh, we would go to the Dunkin' Donuts downstairs and I would get a hot chocolate and she would get a coffee or whatever and we would just talk for an hour and it was really nice. Um, my sister doesn't take dance classes anymore. Uh, so I haven't had a, a Dunkin' hot chocolate in a while. Um, but this is, this is a good hot chocolate. Um, I do think that I would rank Tim Hortons a little higher just off of the richness of the, the beverage itself. Um, but that's not to say that uh, Duncan doesn't know what they're doing here. Uh, obviously it's better than McDonald's. Um, it's, uh, it's mixed really well. It, it's delicious, honestly. And you can tell because it's piping hot and I'm still sipping it regularly. Because that's the kind of experience that I want. Um, so yeah, this is a delicious hot cocoa, and I do recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And I, I've got a, uh, a big Starbucks episode planned, so look forward to that. The Scavengers Network. Creator-driven. Community-focused. Treasured content.